Welcome to Bitza. Welcome to the heart of freshness. The EchoStar LHV5E and LHV7E are placed on a wooden pallet and covered with a protective box at the factory before delivery. Lift the protective box and remove the pallet as described in the enclosed documentation. Position the EchoStar at the installation site using a pallet truck, crane or fork stacker. Ensure that the ground or floor is level. The EchoStar may need to be fixed to the ground or floor. You can gain access to all EchoStar components in just a few steps. The easy to remove housing sections ensure fast access to the EchoStar components for commissioning and servicing. The optional sound insulation enables operation in line with special sound requirements. Remove the transport locks from the EchoLine VeriSpeed compressor. Thanks to the easily accessible and prepared line connections of the EchoStar, the pipes are very simple to mount. The EchoStar comes filled with an overpressure holding gas charge. Check and regulate the nitrogen charge using a pressure gauge battery. Braze the suction gas and liquid line under holding charge. Ensure the components are sufficiently cooled during the brazing process. Once all the refrigeration system components have been mounted, check for leaks with dehydrated nitrogen. A pressure level test should be carried out in sufficient time. Ensure the maximum allowable operating pressure. Evacuate the entire pipework to a pressure of at least 1.5 millibars using a suitable vacuum pump. Connect the voltage supply as well as the control and communication wires as described in the enclosed documentation and in accordance with applicable regulations. Insulate the suction gas line. Calculate the required amount of refrigerant based on the volume of the refrigeration system. Then add the refrigerant. Bear in mind that liquid refrigerant may only be added to the receiver. If necessary, the remaining charged amount may be added to the suction line in the form of a gas during compressor operation. 
Located on the connecting side of the Echo Star, the easy-to-access sight glass makes it simple to check if the charged amount is correct. Now's the time to check the voltage and the phase sequence. Now parameterize the controller, which only requires a few steps thanks to the setup guide. Then initiate the self-test. This feature makes it possible to check all the components in the Echo Star and ensure they're operating correctly and without any errors. Activate the Echo Star operation with help of the control panel and test the functions of all the components and safety devices. All Echo Star components are very easy to access here too, offering a major advantage. The easy to access oil sight glass makes it simple to check the oil level of the Echo Line Vary Speed Compressor. This needs to be done during full load and part load. Additional oil may need to be added. Multiple interfaces make it simple to connect the Echo Star to an end device. Thanks to the integrated web server and the connection via network cable, the controller can be accessed and the Echo Star serviced remotely from anywhere in the world. The user-friendly Echo Star controller can communicate with the Bitsa Best software via a USB port or wirelessly via Bluetooth. These options make handling of all the Echo Star's many functions child's play. The best software is available for download free of charge from the Bitsa website. Open the best software and select New. Select Echo Star. Connect with the Echo Star via a USB cable or Bluetooth. All the key parameters can be viewed directly in the menu item Overview. A system diagram displays the operating status of individual components. The self-test function allows you to check all the device's components to ensure they're functioning correctly. Following the test, a status report can be generated and saved. Operating parameters can be changed under the menu item Configuration. All other device functions that make the Echo Star so outstanding can be set and adjusted here with ease. Default settings are factory settings, whilst actual settings represent the operating settings currently active. The Echo Star can be switched on and other operating parameters changed under User Settings. Click on Transfer to transmit all the parameters to the device. These values will appear under Actual Settings a short time later. All the operating parameters measured are displayed under Monitoring. The Special Emergency Service function ensures uninterrupted cooling in emergency situations. The compressor and fans run at a fixed speed to ensure a continued supply of cooling. This process will now be simulated. The alarm appears in the alarm menu item. The overview menu shows that the compressor is running at a constant speed. A complete data log of the recorded operating parameters and alarms can be generated and displayed in an Excel file. The integrated live log function displays the recorded operating parameters in a very straightforward chart. The web server is structured in line with the Bitsa Best software. Access is provided via the web browser and requires the Echo Star IP address to be entered, which means monitoring and remote maintenance are possible anywhere in the world, as long as the Echo Star is connected to the Internet.
Thank you for watching this video and we hope you will watch some of our other videos. Thank you.